Matt V from Wood for Guitarist and today we're going to do a, something a little bit different. This is going to be a little informal video to show you some instruments that I have here, some fretless instruments. Uh, first of all, we got here an Iraqi oud, floating bridge oud. It's um, got a floating bridge here, the strings are tied to the bottom. Uh, this is a used one that I got on eBay and uh, it's made by uh, Fake Fadel and um, it's a very beautiful instrument. I really like this oud and I want to show it to you and compare it to my uh, Dimitri Rapacusius oud um, which is much louder and I'll show you they, they sound totally different. It's a total different type of instrument. So you'll know that Nasir Shama uses this tuning, high F, and C, G, and so you can play stuff like uh, Sage Shrebi plays, like... Rapacusius oud, it's much larger and much louder than uh, the Iraqi oud. The Iraqi oud I have there is about 58.5 uh, centimeters from the bridge to the nut, but this one is a full Arabic sized one, full sized Arabic oud, 61.5 centimeters all the way, and a very big bowl, and it's much heavier as well, and it's quite powerful, the sound, and there's a lot of overtones. Um, the Iraqi oud doesn't have many overtones, which is is nice for a traditional style of playing. I really like that. after the oud. Uh, it's got it's basically a metal pot. It's kind of like a fretless banjo. Uh, the th interesting thing about jumbush, you can actually take the neck off and you can put different necks on it. You can put a saws neck on there, you can put a mandolin neck on there, you can put a guitar neck on there, and um, you can just switch it to whatever instrument you really want to play. Um, but this is a basic jumbush. You can see it's also a floating bridge. Uh, usually they use they put metal strings on this, but I like uh, nylon strings. I put two guitar strings on here, the E string of a guitar string, and uh, I think this is a B string. These are also old Aquila oud strings that I just put. I put them all, tied them all around here to get them on. Usually they have metal loop end strings which go on these little metal things here. Um, but I like the sound of this, and you'll see it's very loud as well. And really sounds nice for Turkish music, lots of overtones. Instrument is really would really sound good uh, playing Persian music on it. 
kind of sounds like a uh, fretless tar. But that's the Jumbush. Uh, next I'm going to show you my fretless mandolin, which I just re recently modified. So here's my um, Eastman mandolin, which I have made fretless. I've been dreaming of a fretless mandolin for quite some time. I uh, had to take out the frets, then I had to fill up the frets with uh, wood filler, then I uh, sanded it, made it all level, and then I put a layer of epoxy on there to make it uh, nice and uh, durable. And then, right now it's only got four strings on it. There's their nylon oud strings, actually, that are on these. Uh, the Dario ones. And uh, they sound really good. Metal strings don't sound that good on a fretless mandolin because there's just no sound, there's no sustain. But nylon strings are much better. Um, We didn't get to do Baba Bahri this week, but next week the video will be up and uh, you'll be able to learn how to play Baba Bahri. So stay tuned and sign up for the Oud for Guitarist newsletter if you haven't already, and see you next time.